Center for the Presentation of Colors in the Pledge of Allegiance in a Moment of Silence by Peyton Ruth. Color Guard, post. Color Guard, attention! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. No. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you, you may now be seated. On the stage with me to my right is Mr. Bernard McDaniel, Superintendent, Ms. Sylvia Stock, Lee County School Board Chair, Mr. Baron Turner, Principal, Ms. Anjanet James, Heck, School Counselor, Ms. Bridget Woodbury, School Counselor, and Dr. Lerma Sweeney, Assistant Principal of Instruction at Lee Central High School. To my left is Morgan Carter, Gerald Wilson, Kiara Prescott, and Peyton Ruth. Good morning. My name is Jada Johnson, and I am delighted to have chosen to preside over this morning's ceremony for Lee Central High School. It is a very memorable and important event for students and their families. We have made every effort to provide a ceremony that will promote a tradition that focuses on the academic accomplishments of our graduates. We will now have the welcome by Kiara Prescott. Members of the Lee County Board of Education, Mr. Mr. Bernard McDaniel, Superintendent, Mr. Baron Turner, Principal, Lee County School District Administration, Mrs. Tanya Porter, Coordinator of Lee County Career and Technology Center, Administrations, Administrators, I'm sorry, School Counselors, Teachers, Staff Members, Parents, the Graduate Class of 2022, and Visiting Friends. Welcome. I am certainly delighted to have this opportunity to stand before you today. Today we stand together seeing a vision unfold. I am performing this morning on one of the most pleasant tasks of my entire high school career. That is greeting you and welcoming you to this great event of our 2022 graduation. We have looked forward to this occasion with much anticipation and enthusiasm. It means so much to have each of you here today. Your time and sacrifices prove to indicate your care, concern, and commitment. It is our hope that you will be encouraged and inspired by our program today and you will return to your homes with fond memories of the graduating class of 2022. To each one of you again, I say welcome. At this time, we will have our salutatory address from Gerald Wilson.
Good morning to the graduating class of 2022. Before I begin, it would be a disservice to not express my utmost gratitude to my educators, faculty, and staff, my family that is present here today, and most importantly, my mother, Ms. Ellis, here at our high school. It is through the guidance, support, leadership, and care of the aforementioned individuals that made possible my presence before you today with the privilege of addressing this esteemed class. I remember distinctively the promotional ceremony of our eighth grade year in middle school, in which many of you, adorned with robes, boards, gown, and tassel, were seated before me then as you were now. It is a testament to the journey that was embarked upon then being completed now. A solid proof that this experience has transcended us as stewards, as pioneers of newfound success, as the bright minds and strong hearts of tomorrow and beyond. Come with me going forward, I know we are ready, most of us. In freshman year, I remember our first day of school like it was just yesterday. I was particularly annoyed because my new shoes had came in the mail late, so I really wasn't excited about attending school until about Wednesday, when I finally got word. At the time, that was really all that mattered to many of us. That along with making sure you were in all the classes your friends were, finding out which classes we probably were gonna despise, physics, which teachers were going to work us like slaves, Ms. Doyle. I'm pretty sure many of you would agree, Mr. Davidson and Ms. Doyle's science duo ruined the hundred all for many of us. Freshman year is what I would like to coin as the social year of our high school journey. It being the most lighthearted, wide-eyed, and carefree year we would have the luxury of experiencing in high school. From that year on, many of us were quite unaware. Our freshman made decisions of classes and Kate courses we wanted to take became catalysts to our senior year chapter we are presently closing. I know I was not alone in sharing the new year, same old, same old mindset, but wouldn't the proceedings year of our high school career go on to prove us utterly wrong? Sophomore year, our second first day of school, as I like to call it, was one I was ready to welcome and prepared for. This time around, I made sure to order my shoes a whole month in advance, a lesson learned from the previous year. Our 10th grade year is the one I would coin the year of transition. Perspectives began to change, mentally and socially. Your ambition slowly begins to creep to the forefront of your mind, Something about high school becomes a bit goal-oriented and less carefree. We began to divert our energies and times into not just academics, but extracurricular activities. We get our first real taste of having serious responsibilities, time management, taking initiatives, and planning. We also begin to learn new things, positive things, yes, but negative things also, like how to be just late enough for class to not actually be marked tardy, like how to make a single pass and then for first block, work for second and third also, like how to pull off going to two different lunches in the same day, and so much more I won't reveal at the expense of our upcoming classes. Overall, we came to understand high school life. Perspectives of past and present have demonstrated where our high school careers would steer us in the near future. We began to bloom, not only as students, and take on identities, characteristics, and ambitions that now define the men and women seated before me today. Sadly, our sophomore year ended with the beginning of unprecedented times, the COVID-19 pandemic. Junior year would be abnormal to say the very least. It didn't matter how early or late you ordered your fresh new shoes because Nobody was going to see you wear them. We would be forced to become familiarized with a new and impersonal way of living, virtual. The very thing that personalizes this journey and makes it a unique experience, the fact that we are separated from each other. The pandemic left us confined to our homes, deconstructed the social lives of many, and hampered the learning process of countless students. But champions are made through adversity. Tales of success are nothing without the trials they overcame. To borrow the famous quote, diamonds are made under pressure, and without the shadow of a doubt, we all came out as pressurized diamonds from the process. Though at times we were unmotivated, disadvantaged, challenged by a plethora of technical difficulties, here we are, class of 2022. You all showed character, resilience, and embodied the true spirit of the stallion, and for that, my peers, I salute you. You have all earned the right to be seated here as proud and accomplished stewards. It must be said that such a disastrous year still taught us meaningful lessons. Our junior year, the one I would like to coin, the year of adversity, showed us the true value of friendship and camaraderie. We now move forward, class of 22, with a lesson learned and a sense of unity that can't be afforded by the classes that have come before us and that will come after. I am proud to say the storms we have weathered have not been weathered by many, and the stripes we bear are to be shown by few. Senior year, and this is the last one, I promise. While still being cognizant of our footwear and fashion, impressive shoes were no longer as significant as impressive GPAs. By this time, every young man and woman of this class were preoccupied gathering the necessary tools, academic and otherwise, to catapult themselves towards success. For many of us, Crocs and the gym became our best friends, along with seat time and ingenuity being some of our worst enemies. I'm glad to see you made it, really. <laughs> As the latter days of our senior year approached the finish line, became almost palpable. Subconsciously, you didn't realize it, but you started to reflect. Nostalgia took over many times as you were walking through the hallways by yourself or with friends. You start to reminisce, 
on the better moments and even some of the worst ones. Senior year itself was filled with so many memorable occasions, but those memorable moments pale in comparison to this one, our graduation. My peers, it is time for us to make a positive impact, to usher in change and innovation. Wherever your aspirations may take you, and whatever endeavors you may decide to indulge in, I encourage you to do so with pride and dignity, to the best of your ability and utmost of your potential for good purpose, to command with your presence and lead with your footsteps. Challenges and obstacles will come your way. It will not be a simple road to success. It will be one filled with turns and complexities, trials and tribulations, but I say with confidence, the stewards of success that you have become truly reflects the year of the stallion. The diamonds that this long four-year journey has forged you pioneers to be will withstand the pressures that the race of life will bring. Let us carry the stallion pride and spirit wherever this new journey of life will take us. Let us challenge the status quo and societal constructs. Let us dare to be the intellectuals of the future and the catalysts of change. To my friends and my peers of the graduating class of 22, I wish you all the very best. Love and love only. Godspeed. We will now have our valedictorian address by Morgan Carter. Good morning, Principal Turner, faculty and staff, school board officials, and fellow graduates. It is an honor to speak to you today as a valedictorian for the graduating class of 2022. I want to start off by saying congratulations to the class of 2022. Today is an exciting day. We are here to celebrate all the hard work of the past 12 years. I am sure most of our parents can remember our first day of pre-K, elementary school, middle school, and our first day of high school. With each first day, I am sure they and you saw this moment getting closer and closer. I think for the most part, all of us here have been so ready to enter the next stage of our lives that we have not taken time to appreciate what this stage has brought us. Memories that will last a lifetime, friends that we will forever cherish, lessons that we will use throughout our lives to better ourselves. Senior year is what we waited for to make the memories that we did, such as homecoming week, prom, and the teachers versus students basketball game. These are all memories that we will forever cherish. High school graduation is a pinnacle moment in our lives. It marks the ending of one of our longest chapters yet. We have reached the point in our lives where we are no longer discussing our dreams amongst our friends and family, but we are instead putting the actions into motion and using the willpower that our parents, teachers, and administrators have instilled in us to be successful. With this new journey we are soon to embark on, we will face many trials and tribulations, and we are no strangers to difficulties. Most of our high school years have been riddled with the COVID pandemic. We have had to grow, adjust, adapt, and become more comfortable with the new normal we are now living in. Maybe I'm a little bit biased when I say this, but I think the class of 2022 is the most prepared class to face these challenges of the world we are soon to enter into. We know the definition perseverance in the face of adversity, and what it takes to overcome the roadblocks we cannot control. And mentioning all of this, I hope that you all can see that if we apply the same persistence and perseverance that we did in high school, nothing can stop us from applying it to our lives after high school and beyond. So fellow graduates, I urge you today to embrace the opportunities placed before you. Take what you have learned the last 12 years and put it to good use. Use the difficulties you will face as not losses, but lessons, and use those life lessons to further yourself in this world. Lastly, I want to thank my family and friends who have been on this journey with me. I also want to give a special thank you to my mom, who has been an inspiration and who has guided me through the good times and bad. Again, congratulations to the class of 2022, and I wish you all the best in your endeavors. We will now have a special recognition of academic achievements and the awarding of diplomas by Mr. Turner. Mr. Uh, Superintendent, uh, Mr. McDaniel, and Sylvia Scott to join me for the next two presentations of our salutatory and our valedictorian. Will the parents of Gerald Wilson Jr. please stand? On the behalf of Lee County School Board of Trustees, district staff, and the faculty at Lee Central High School, we are so proud of you today to present you with the Salutatorian Award for Lee Central High School. Our Salutatorian is the son of Gerald Wilson Sr. and Anita Ellis Miller. During the matriculation at Lee Central High School, Gerald became a drum major, a Lee Central High School marching band, emerging leader member, 
Junior ROTC Battalion Commander, Beta Club Secretary, Teacher Cadet, and an athlete for the Lee Central High School Baseball and Track and Field. Drew Wilson Jr., work ethics and determination to succeed made him the salutatorian of Lee Central High School graduation class of 2022. He has earned admissions to Francis Marion, Clathen University, South Carolina State University, where he will be majoring in computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 salutatorian, Gerald Wilson, Jr. So Morgan Carter, please stand. On the behalf of Lee County School Board of Trustees, district staff, and the faculty at Lee Central High School, we are so proud today to present you with the Valedictorian Award of Lee Central High School. Our Valedictorian is the daughter of Aletha Carter and was born on January 31st, 2004. She was a member of Central Carolina Technical College dual enrollment early college program where she achieved the feat of obtaining a social degree in art theory. She maintained all A's, y'all, in all of her Lee Central High School courses and all of her Central Carolina courses. That deserves a round of applause. Yeah. She has been a Beta Club member, FBLA, Lee Central Marching Band, Palmetto Girls State Participant, RTC Battalion, Executive Officer, Adopt a Highway Program, and Phi Theta Kappa Honor, Honor Society member. She has earned admission to numerous of top colleges, but she chose to attend the University of South Carolina in the fall, majoring in political science. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Valedictorian Morgan Carter. She was the only senior that I saw that was taking PE. And I said, Reagan, why are you still taking PE and you a senior? He said, Coach T, because somebody messed me up in my ninth grade. I said, wow. So, Raven Davis, if you can come to the stage, you can stay in the world winner for the year. Good morning. Uh, before our graduates proceed, I'd like to make a few comments with regards to this class's accomplishments. Let me first of all say thank you parents, thank you guests, thank you family members for being here as we recognize the class of 2022. As you've already heard from our valedictorian and salutatory, they overcame quite a bit the past two years and I do believe and I concur you, you are the most prepared to deal with whatever challenges come before you because of the pandemic. So we congratulate you. In terms of academic achievement, this class of 132 
want to thank Mr. Turner and his staff. Each of them have been prepared for whatever they desire to do with their future in terms of their next step in their lives. They are prepared. In terms of academic achievement and scholarships, this class is just shy of $7 million in scholarship offerings. I think that is commendable. And very quickly, so that you will be aware, there are always critics that will say, of that $7 million, those are grant, those are uh, grants, or those are um, offers that students would have to pay back. Let me assure you, let me assure you that our guidance department will be able to supply a letter that has been presented to the student from a college or university or organization with the amount of scholarship money that they qualify for. So these are scholarship offerings, these are factual numbers, and these numbers are as of May 26. We do anticipate those numbers going up a bit higher. So we congratulate this class on what you've been able to do and certainly hope that the scholarship money will afford you to reach the pinnacle of your uh, career in terms of your preparation and where you plan to attend college. So we're very, very proud of you. Also seated among this class, we have six students that have earned an associate's degree. That's a two-year college degree prior to even getting their diploma today. So congratulations, we commend you. And before I take my seat, I'd like to commend our student uh, participants, the members of the class that participated in, in this program. You've done an outstanding job, and we certainly appreciate you. We appreciate our marshals who are adorned in white. There are our juniors. I'd like to thank, while I have the privilege, our board members who are here. Please stand. Please stand. Thank you so very much. Much of what we do are able to accomplish this because of the leadership of our board members. And then a special, very special kudos and thank you as I share with uh, Ms. G. Wetzel with The Observer. I want to thank, publicly thank uh, Sheriff Simon and uh, the Chief City Police for the support and the collaboration, uh, working together and giving their advice in terms of making certain that we have provided a safe environment for our students and all of you who are in attendance. So, and thank you, those of you who are in attendance, for your cooperation. I know it was a little slow coming in, but everything we do is about safety. So again, thank you, and I will now yield back to Mr. Turner. Thank you so very much. you have been waiting for today. Students, when I call your name, please come up to receive your diplomas. Marshals. James Damon Boykin. Mayana Amaya Adams, honor graduate, Kate Completer Life Scholarship. Levis Gabriel Aguilar Lopez. Kenneth LaVar Albert Jr., Kate Completer. Jamal Tashawn Anderson. Jordan Natasha Anderson, top 10 graduate, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Blood Drive Donor. 
Amarion Dequan Bell, Kate Completer. Kaylee Elizabeth Jean Bird, Kate Completer, Blood Drive Donor. Tyron Tian Blather. Amira Marianne Bogard, Honor Graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Kelvin Tale Bordkin. <laughs> Denesha Takuriana Bracey, Kate Completer. Derek Jaquan Bradley, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. <laughs> Micah Tariq Gerard Brisbane, honor graduate, Kate Completer. <laughs> Chad Javante Brown. Leve Alyssa Burrows, honor graduate, Kate Completer, blood drive donor. Lawrence Deshawn Burrows. Morgan Leanne Carter, valedictorian, top 10 graduate, honor graduate, life scholarship, Kate Completer, Beta Club Associate's Degree. D'Angelo Deontay Century. Jarrell Trayvon Champagne. Honor graduate, Kate Completer. Jaisha Amaya Cooley, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Deshawn Kifan Cooper. Desheria Renee Costley, honor graduate, CCTC Early College. <laughs> Jaheem Malik Covington. <laughs> Quanisha Olivia Covington. Honor graduate, Kate Completer. <laughs> Donald Lewis Dampier III. Honor graduate, Kate Completer. A Raven Talisha Davis, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Artron LeKing Chatrez Dickey, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Tanaya Zaira Dinkins, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Beta Club, Life Scholarship. Meldrick Lawrence Edwards. Dylan Andrew Elmore. Kate Completer, dr Blood Drive Donor. Khalil Rashad Epps. Kate Completer. Nishaya Royale Fleming. Top 10 graduate, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Beta Club, Associate's Degree, Blood Drive Donor. Congratulations, Siobhan Malik Francis, Top 10 graduate, honor graduate, 
Life Scholarship, Beta Club, Blood Drive Donor. Azariah Jaleel Fullard, Kate Completa, Honor Graduate, Life Scholarship, Beta Club, CCTC Early College. Caitlin Nicole Ganey, Honor Graduate, Kate Completa, Life Scholarship. Xavier Kimati Jaquan Geddes. Lucius Ladarius Green. Jaden Deontay Gregg. Alyssa Soraya Hannibal. Kate Completa, CCTC Early College, Blood Drive Donor. Kalia Hannibal. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Quantre Demetrius Harry. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Emily Grace Helms. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Associate's Degree. Jessica Shalice Henry, Kate Completer. <laughs> Quantez Shamor Hickman, Kate Completer. <laughs> Samaki Malik Hickman. <laughs> Shakela Renee Hickman, honor graduate. Kate Completer, Beta Club, Life Scholarship. <laughs> Michael Lynn Anthony Hockaday, Top 10 Graduate, Honor Graduate, Life Scholarship, Kate Completer. Artravius Benjamin Holloman. Ayana Chanel Holloman. Jalen Ishante Holloman, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Blood Drive Donor. Josiah Levon Holloman. Jada Samaya Hopkins, Kate Completer. Camilla Tajay Hopkins, Top 10 graduate, honor graduate, life scholarship, Kate Completer. Brandon Scott Huber. Tommy Keyshawn LeJay James. Janaya Talisa Levon Jenkins. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Blood Drive Donor. Keviana Ariane Jennings. Anaya Zanesha Johnson. Honor graduate, Kate Completer. Jamarion Narik Johnson. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Jada Nakaya Johnson, Top 10 graduate, Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Beta Club, Associate's Degree. Nakia Kyrie Johnson, Jr., Kate Completer. Good job. Tatiana Ali Johnson, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Blood Drive Donor. Jakaya Jakendra Jones, Kate Completer. Good job, baby. Good job. 
Zaquan Malik Jones, Kate Capito. Ahmad Jalik June, Honor Graduate, Kate Capito, Life Scholarship, Blood Draw Donor. Christian Rivera Lopez. Lorik, honor graduate. Kentarius Takeen O'Neill Lowry. Amir Jahad Marshall, blood drop donor. DeAndre Kiquan Marshall. Rachel Leah McCatherine, Kate Completer. Tene Natalia McLeod, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Shan Asia Imani McCray. Olivia McGee. Good job, Jamie. Tristan Arion McQuilla, Kate Completer. Malik Kazwan Michael, Kate Completer. Sanaya DeAsia Mickens, honor graduate, Kate Completer. Demari DeKalen Mickens, Kate Completer. Ricky Malik Mickens, Kate Completer. Delquisha. Viana Miller. <laughs> Jaquil Malik Montgomery, Kate Completer. <laughs> Jaquaria Tatiana Montgomery, honor graduate, Kate Completer. Jameson Antonio Newkirk, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Jordan Rain Burbridge Norris. Shantae Zaria Pearson. Trayvon Trail Pearson. Brianna Jana Pickles, honor graduate. Jaquan Tashan Powell. Kiara Janelle Prescott, top 10 graduate, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Beta Club, Associate's Degree, Blood Drive Donor. Oh. Vantasia Charnay Price, Honor Graduate, Kate Completer. Jarik Mate Prince, Kate Completer. Triante Antonio Mazel Robertson. 
Aretha Robinson. <laughs> Nazir Kian Rodriguez, Honor Graduate Life Scholarship. Jasmine Angel Rowe, Honor Graduate. Peyton Melio Ruth, Top 10 Graduate, Honor Graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Beta Club, Associate's Degree, Blood Draw Donor. Tara Tiani Sanders. <laughs> Tamika Latrice Scarborough, Kate Completer. Kimaya Alexis Scott. Zaquavius Jaquez Shingler, Kate Completer. Janae Satrell Simon, honor graduate. That's right. Travion Zaquarius Simon, Kate Completer. Ralik Marquez Slater, Kate Completer. Taquan O'Neill Slater. Talisha Nakiria Slater, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Blood Drive Donor. Congratulations. Jada Nazaria Smith, honor graduate, Blood Drive Donor. Jada Nazaria Smith, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Smith, Kate Completer. Oh, Willie Quavon Stuckey. Robert Taylor Jr. Honor graduate, military honors, life scholarship. William James Taylor. Honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Thank you. Good job, Good job, Robert. Kiaja Zakiria Thomas. Sakim Ranif Thompson, Kate Completer. Smiles on you. That's right. Brandon Toes Jr. Honor graduate, Life Scholarship. Samir Tony, Kate Completer. Monte Renee Tulos Worthington. Jeron Qualik Wells, Kate Completer. Nakuria Ayania Wells, Kate Completer. Fantasia Janae White, honor graduate, Kate Completer. Dontavis O'Neill Williams, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship. Jemiah Monique Williams. Naasia Monet Lanea Williams, honor graduate, Kate Completer, Life Scholarship, Beta Club. Shaasia Amari Rubiana Williams. Tyrese Raquan Williams, Rashawn Williams. 
are Shayla LaJoy Wilson. DeAndre Terrell Wilson, Kate Completer. Gerald Franklin Wilson Jr. Salutatorian, top 10 graduate, honor graduate, life scholarship, Kate Completer Beta Club. Demari Dequan Woods. Brian Craig Roy, the third. Now it's time to give all of our graduates a hearty round of applause and cheers. Please stand for the results of the alma mater led by Lee Central High School senior class. citizens of Lee County, school board members, Mr. McDaniel, district office staff, and most of all, the class of 2022 for making this school year successful. Graduates for the class of 22, at this time, move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. You are full-fledged graduates of Lee Central High School. As a member of Lee County Committee, I often ask his Coach T, who was the best player? Or Coach T, who was the best class? Class of 22, you have made it extremely difficult for me to make that selection. I am honored, I am humbled by your measurements of self-worth. You, you have exceeded all expectations and crushed all records. I'm grateful to be your principal. I'm grateful to work with you over the course of the several years. You have given me the joy and the sense of pride. Lastly, I am confident in ability, your ability to succeed, your ability to go out and show what the Lee Central, excuse me, and show what Lee County has to offer. I'm a firm believer in adding to your toolbox. Add to your toolbox. Continue to be great and always be in the right place at the right time and doing the right thing. Honor guests and faculty and families and friends, please give the class of 2022 a big old deserve a round of applause. Thank you. Please remain standing for the recession. Get back 